to professional heavyweight boxing. It is brought to you by the Mad Butcher. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He enters the ring wearing blue trunks with white trim. He weighed in at already 105.8 kgs. He hails from Wellington, New Zealand. He has three professional fights with three losses, looking for a big win here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Clint Foe. with a white trim. He weighed in at 123.8 kgs. He hails from Auckland, New Zealand. He is sponsored by Global Metal Solutions and NZ Boxer. He is on debut right here tonight. Introducing Vicey Baba Chui Gamara. Four threes in the bell reach referee in charge is Lance Revel. So Lance Revel will call them in with Lance last week in uh, the WBC convention in Thailand. Lance made a big hit up there. Of course, uh, Garrick Belton and Joan were there as well, uh, representing this country. Big 30,000 people at the convention. Ten-point must scoring system, no standing, eight count, no three knockdown rule. But it cannot be saved with the bell in any round. Only the referee can stop the fight. He didn't do any headbutts or cuts. Okay. We'll explain the rule as it becomes necessary. Really, really, that guy in the blue really, shirt really, with really, uh, young Tua Gamala is Masalino Masoi, former world champion who works with him. Here we go. Round number one. This is scheduled for four rounds. The Colonel Bob Sheridan here. We're in a beautiful spot called uh, the Claude Lands Arena in Hamilton, New Zealand. Let's see how that jab of big Tui Gamala goes. Boy, he goes right after him, does he, Michael? I like the way he That's goes away. straight away That's to the way. body and leverages. So don't right. be surprised to see you with that, that jab. He's leading with the jab going Pop. straight down into the solar plex. Don't be surprised to see an overhand right come off that. Wow. Look at the power of that left hand, too. That's not a jab. That's kind of a hook half jab. Nail him hard with that. Again, in the black trunks, the colors, of course, the all blacks, uh, black and white. Uh, his dad, one of the great all time, and you don't need me to tell you that, Ingen the winger. And he's built like his dad, a big, strong, healthy looking kid, uh, heavy around the middle, but that doesn't mean anything when you jab like he does. His jab is a blast. Oh, he's certainly a little bit left hand dominant, doubles up the left hook. Jeez, he's uh, reminiscent of a certain fighter we may see later on the card tonight. Nice work on the inside. Clint Ferrari uh, doing pretty good hanging in in this first round. He's from Wellington. We have a lot of viewers down in Wellington, so we're going to try to give you an even shake on Clint. Of course, everybody in this area wants to see Bubba Tui Gamala uh, destroy your man, but uh, that's not quite so for you fans in the Wellington area. We get people all over the country, and as a matter of fact, this is turning into a world telecast. As I understand, we're down in Australia, we're in Fiji, we're in Samoa. Uh, we're actually in the Philippines and a good part of Southeast Asia, and soon these fights are going to be beamed on integrated sports around the world. Nice uh, work to the body and head there from uh, Tui Gamala. Young Tui Gamala, his name is Bubba, coming hard. The effects of uh, Ferrari are just nil because this guy is just so strong. He's got the big legs like his uh, uncle uh, David Tua who, of course, is our main event fighter tonight, and the real reason we're here, Mike. Uh, absolutely. Look, I'm actually impressed by Bubba. He's just, he's working well. He's picking his shots. Fuai has been stopped uh, in his first professional fight with body shots, so, uh, and notice the way he's digging with both hands, really leveraging, using that power. I'd like to see him bump him off a little bit in the clinch when he gets in tight, and using that 20 kilo weight advantage. Fuari's making a big mistake. He has his hands down, and he allows this guy to come into the kill zone without protecting himself. He's not throwing any jabs, and it's just a matter of time before Tua Gamala flattens him. I'm going to tell you that right now, because he's fighting the wrong technique, the wrong style against this guy. Of course, you got to be imitated. You don't stand in the kill zone like that mike you're a fighter tell the people about that you don't stand there you get back or you grab him and walk him back on his heels well if you don't have a jab to keep him off and and he leaves the channel for the right hand he's not rolling his left shoulder over at all he's there for the overhand right and we saw one by Tui Gamala just missed narrowly earlier. Tui Gamala's been very left-hand dominant, but if he goes to the right hand before he throws the left hook, and there we see the right hand catching him, then we might see uh, four eyes uh, rattled a little more. End of round one. Round one is in the books. I want to say hello to my good mate Georgie Calvin down in Christchurch. Georgie beat cancer this week, and I know that's important to you, Mike. Uh, you had a taste of it, and of course my good friend uh, Sir Peter Leek, uh, uh, he beat it too, and it's wonderful. Uh, I'm so happy for Georgie, you and Peter, that you're all not in the men. You don't have cancer anymore. As we go to the replay and we see Tui Gamala, good body work. Nothing stopping him from coming inside. Works the left hand well. 
leverages with all his power and then we see him bump off with the uh, left shoulder and create room out of the clinch. Good, good solid round for a guy who hasn't been in for a couple of years from Baba Tui Gamala. Masalino Masoi in the corner. One of New Zealand's very few genuine world champions. Well, we take a look at the Mad Butcher score sheet. And of course, that round is scored 10 9 for Tui Gamala as uh, uh, Fanoi uh, unable to do anything. Lance Revel says, Wait till I call you in before you start fighting. Lance is a tremendous referee. Uh, went to the boxing clinic with him. I always go to the scoring and judges clinic and uh, watched how these guys are trained and the WBC uh, doing such a great job. Look at that. The foot speed. This guy's an athlete. Bang! He nails him hard. These are tough body shots. He better get down the ropes or hang on. He's going to get pummeled. He tries to hang on, but Tui Kamala is just so strong. That's Tui Kamala, Bubba Tui Kamala in the black trunks, and in the blue with the white trim is Clint uh, Ferrari. Ferrari having all kinds of trouble. I tell you one thing, I wouldn't want to be fighting this guy, but I wouldn't linger in the kill zone either, Mike. There's the overhand right. Just needs to curl it over a little, just throwing it slightly high off the shoulder. It's getting a bit wild, Bubba. Just needs to go back to doing what he was doing well, just breaking him down. Using the jab, setting it up. For why not offering much in return apart from the odd uppercut or right hand? These punches don't shift uh, to Gamala whatsoever. And on the inside, what he really needs to do is take a dip and blast him to the right side of his body, right on top of that, uh, you know, the area of the, the rib cage, bottom part of the rib cage and the area of the liver. He did it that time, but to the other side. That's the area of the spleen. Nicely rolled off the... Uh the straight right, but not a lot of pepper on it from Fuwei. Bar is a stop, nice stop. kid, and now let's see what Lance oh, no. says. Oh, but uh, I guess he wants to keep the hands up. I don't know. He stopped the action. Now, now he's calling the glove. Yeah, that's it. He got the tape on the glove, so the corner comes up and uh, gets Fuwei. That gives uh, the bigger guy, uh, Tui Gamala, rest that uh, he shouldn't have his arms on the uh, ropes, by the way. Mr. Tui Gamala, that's it. Get him down and get that blood coming down your shoulders. <laughs> That's, funny, That's what I like, son. You listen here, Colonel. You'll do well. Well, Tui Gamala just going a little bit wild with his punches in this round. Needs now to go, go back to him. picking the shots. I, I, I can't help coaching. I, I don't know what's in me. I just love this sport so much, man. Now let's see if Tui Gamala, he's got that blood down in his hands. Now he can whack him instead of uh, having his heart up. Oh! Yeah, he a right hand there. That? Good shot from... And another one from Fuwei. I've seen him before. He can punch with the right hand. Had a war with Richard Tutaki, a 55 veteran, was unlucky to lose that one. Now he eats a right hand left uppercut. Look at this stuff now. You saw the uh, perspiration fly. Very interesting fight here in round two. So we can trying to finish him off. He rocked him that time with a left hook. Does the one downstairs. Touches oh, him with the right hand. One, down he goes. Two, There's the three, shot with the right hand. Four, it's up to five. five. And six. six, he shouldn't even bother Seven. to get him. He's not getting eight. him. Seven and eight. Nine. Staggering Out. around this fight's over. It's over. over. It's over. Oh. Lance Rebel stops it in the second round. That will be scored. A second round technical knockout victory for Bubba Tui Gamala, who's now passed his debut. Record 1-0, one, oh, one oh. knockout, perfect. Absolutely. And a pretty impressive performance for a guy with only five amateur fights, his professional debut. Fawai is not easy to get out of there. Just too strong, too athletic, too quick. And in the end, too powerful. And that was the right hand that stung Tui Gamala into action. Caught him with the uppercut on the inside and then that clubbing right hand over the top, right on the corner of Fawai's chin. And it was all over. There was no getting up. A good stoppage from Lance Rebel. A little cut by the eye there, Mike, of uh, Tui Gamala. Yeah, we had a little bit of claret coming out there. All right, let's make it official. Here's our classy ring announcer, my favorite LT. It's Lieutenant Dan Hennessy. Yeah. All right, fighters to center ring, please. Ladies and gentlemen, with two minutes and 29 seconds gone in the second round, your winner by knockout, fighting out of the red corner, Bubba Tui Gamala! Nice.
nice victory for the kid, huh, Mike? Yeah, clinical in the end, just too strong. And he had just get hit with Greg three punches, but you said it, just too strong. Uh, I felt bad for four hours because he's a great kid. Things just weren't going his way. All right, now is it Clint? Clint, go ahead and take the interview. Well, uh, to Lofer and uh, well done to Baba Tui Gamala. Congratulations on getting your uh, pro boxing debut off to a winning start. Yeah, thank you very much, and uh, thank you to everyone who came out, um, especially my wife and kids uh, up in the stands. Um, yeah, couldn't be happy. Now look, uh, tell us through the first round, just a nice settler. Yeah, um, came out and, uh, you know, instead of working on just, you know, throwing my jab and uh, doubling up on my jab and letting go of my right hand, I was swinging and making stupid mistakes. Yeah. And then in the second round, he got you a couple of times and all of a sudden the old Samoan came out and you broke. Yeah, yeah, you can't stop the Samoan Friday. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Now, who's the biggest impact on your boxing career? Was your uncle David tour later on tonight is your father Inga the winger or your brother JT that made his professional debut this year as well oh uh, all three of them play play a big role in uh, in what I do and uh, they're both um, inspirational to me well, well done mate what does the sport of boxing mean to you and where would you like to go Baba uh, look this is just a start for me and uh, and I couldn't make it um, happen if it wasn't for my sponsors like Enzo Boxer and GMS uh, Global Metal Solutions Right, let's hear it for Baba Tuigabala, a winner on debut tonight. Well, Fuai had a tough ask. Marcelino Marseille in Tuigabala's corner. Took his time. Saw some left hooks reminiscent of his uncle. Good hand speed from a big man. And in the end, it was inevitable as Tui Gamala went downstairs to the body. He got clipped by a right hand, which stung him into life. And just too strong, too powerful for Fuai. And the right hand over the top did the damage up against the ropes. Uses a nice hand trap with the uppercut on the inside. And the bodywork that did the damage, opened it up upstairs. And for Wei, too much punishment. Could not get up. 